Hey everybody, welcome back to the Supplementation Life. Today we're going to be doing some designing techniques. We're going to go over how we go from a single layer PNG file or SVG to a multiple layered or colorful PNG SVG file. It's a very easy technique. It's very fun. You can go from simple to colorful and multiple layers whether you're doing just a simple project with your Cricut or doing a sublimation project. I'll go ahead and go through the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is bring up your Google and we're going to go ahead and search for an image that we're going to want to use for our projects and we'll go from there. Okay, so as you can see we are on Google now. I went ahead and typed in Arial coloring page and it will bring up a whole bunch of different images for you. Um, you can scroll through and see which one you like the best. Do be aware that this is Disney so you can't sell Disney products but if you use it personal use you should be okay. Just don't go and try to sell this. But as I was saying you can go through find an image that you like to use and then just download it or save the image. Um, I just wanted to show another website that I do like to use. It's called Coloring Pages for Kids, and they also have a whole bunch of them as well. The one thing I do like about this website is that they're all organized. Uh, you can find what you're looking for really easily. Again, we'll click on Disney Princess, and it has a whole bunch, again, organized by the princesses. Ariel, Elsa, Anna, Aurora, Snow White, all of them are on here. And you click on them and it brings up even more images for you. And also the nice thing about this is the images on this website, they are already SVG files. So you don't have to worry about converting from a PNG to an SVG. It's already set up for you. So you can either push the download or you can do what I like to do. Right click on the image and just save image as and it'll bring up this. And you can see it says already saving as an SVG file. So that is perfect just to make it easier for you. I have already found the image that I want to use. So I'll go ahead and just show you in Cricut Design Space now how to upload your image. You'll go to upload over here. I'll show you both PNG and SVG because if you do do a PNG file, it is going to make you take out the background. You can see down here I've been working on different ways to go about this and have found one that works the best way. So we'll go ahead and do the PNG first just to show you how to remove the white background if you do download the PNG to start with. Once you've gotten to this page where you've uploaded your image into the design space, you'll go over and do the simple. Uh, usually we'll do complex, but because it's just black and white, the simple is going to be the best for this option. We'll push continue. And if you have the background remover already and you have a subscription, it's going to be a lot easier of a process. I don't. So what we'll go down is just do manual select and make sure you're on your magic wand. And we'll go down to more options. And we're going to reduce the colors because there's not eight colors. There's only two. It's black and white. So you'll change it to two. Don't worry about the color tolerance. And now we're just going to go over to our picture. And we're just going to start deleting the white background. You can see I just clicked on the white there. I'll zoom in a little bit here. And now it just has a checkered background there where the white was. And this is how you're going to create that SVG file. And you'll continue to do this until you just have an outline of your image. I'll go ahead and finish this up in a fast forward so you don't have to sit through it. Okay, so now you can see all there is with the image is just a checkered background throughout with an outline of your image. You can also go up to preview cut image and it's just going to show you a preview of what you have. That way you don't have to go forward and then if you messed up you don't have to go back. So go ahead and do your preview. 
just make sure you have your full outline and that's what your cut file should look like is the outline of what you're trying to make. Once you've gone through this part, you'll go ahead and apply and continue. And you will want to do a cut image because this is how you're going to be able to make the layers. Now that you have your new image up, you'll go ahead and select that image and press add to canvas. And this, and this is what should come up is an SVG file of the image that you're trying to work with. And now you can move it around and you can manipulate it, duplicate it and contour it, which is what we're going to get into just shortly. I do want to go ahead and upload the SVG file that's already been created just because it is easier to work with. I just wanted to show you the way to do it with the PNG file. Okay, so I have my SVG file up and in the canvas now. Again, same exact thing, it's just the SVG file versus the PNG file, but whatever works for you and just whatever file type you have, you can get to it either way. So from this point, we are going to start duplicating layers because we're going to need layers to contour and you're going to need as many layers as there are colors. I believe when I did this the first time there was eight layers, so I'm just going to make seven more. Now that you have all of your layers, you'll go ahead and move the additional layers off to the side until we need them at a later time. Now from here, you're going to go ahead and click your first layer. And this very first layer, we're just going to try to make it a solid background because when you do layering, you need to have a solid background to lay your other layers on top of and line it up. So to make that solid background, what we're going to do is go over to your right side panel and go to contour. And this is what's going to come up for you. It's going to say hide contour. And over here, there's a panel of all the little pieces that are in your image. And they'll kind of keep coming up. When you click them, you'll see that it'll disappear from that image. The very top one is the background image. So this one is the one that's going to give you that solid background. So say if I click it here, you're going to see parts of it are going to disappear. It lightens up. You can click this one and now our hair kind of disappears but I want to make sure I have this one still visible because that's what's going to be your solid layer. So for this, it's the easiest one. You'll go to hide all contours and the only one it won't hide is this very top layer. Now that you've done that, go ahead and just simply press the X and now you have a solid background for your bordering. Now that you have your solid background layer, you'll go ahead and pull over another layer. And this one, I'm going to work on her hair. So this one is the contour where we want everything to be gone except for her hair. Now this one's up again. It's the same thing. I still like to go and hide everything instead of clicking each individual little piece because that's a lot of pieces to hide. The only difference with this is you can go over here, which can make it easier to find the exact parts of the image that you want. Otherwise, you're going to have to scroll up and down to find that exact piece of image. Whereas if you hover over it, the piece that you want is going to get highlighted. So her hair right now is what I'm hovering over and you can see it highlights. So when it highlights it, you'll go ahead and click on it. And now it's been ungrayed or checkmarked, and that means it's going to be the only part visible. But because we hit everything, this top layer is still visible, and we want to hide that. So we'll click that, and then we'll just go and make sure the rest of her hair and all of her parts are going to be visible that we want to be visible. And we'll go ahead and click out of there. And now it's just the outline of her hair. From this point, you'll go up to Operations and your Color button, and you'll just start changing the colors. Now from here, I do want to show you, because there is a part I realized that I left out that needs to be read as well. Um, you'll click on it, and you can always correct very easily. Just go back to Contour, 
And that's back up. I want her lips to also be red. So we'll go and get those also. And now you can see the lips are in that part of the image as well. Now that you have that, I like to go ahead and just start layering as I go. And you'll just kind of line it right back up where it should be. And you can always change the color if you want. As I can see, it looks a little bit dark to me. So we'll just kind of play with the colors. And if you want to change it to a different one that's not preset, you go to advanced and just kind of move it around until you like the color of the image. And I like that red, so we'll leave it there. And then as we keep going, we'll just keep grabbing layers and finding those contours that we need to finish the image. This time I'm going to do the flower and we'll go through that. I'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit through these parts as you're getting the handle of it. Okay, so now you can see over here you have all these layers and different colors and from this point you just need to go and line up your layers so that they are lined up properly. Alright, so that is how you make a multiple layered design out of a single layered design or even from just a PNG file. You can go ahead and just group those layers together and that way you can move your image freely without worrying about moving layers off of each other. Um, and then you can go ahead and make your image. You can layer your vinyl, your paper, whatever you're doing and almost make any design or image to use with your Cricut. Super easy, super fun, a really cool technique. If this tutorial was helpful for you, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and boop that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share for others so they can get helped as well. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting!